Wir sind in Orange, das ist äh, Großraum L.A. und äh, wir besuchen heute jemanden, der muss unheimlich berühmt sein, weil die Straße, auf der wir jetzt gerade fahren, so heißt der Typ mit Nachnamen, Collins, ähm, so wie ich gehört habe, hat der Hightop-Muster, also Hochdach-Kombis äh, und gleich fünf Stück, weil er die so toll findet. Und das wollen wir uns dann doch mal genauer ansehen und wir wollen natürlich erfahren, was hält er von unserem id -Bus. Hi everybody, I'm Eddie Collins here in Orange, California. Welcome to Eddie and Dave's Garage. Oh, that thing is cool. Dude, look at this. Oh my God. Wow. Hey Christian. Hi Eddie. How are you? I didn't know you were going to be rolling up in this. I know. Dude, that is so cool. How Good are to you? meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so welcome. Welcome. This is my, uh, this is my little home away from home. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to check it out? Of course. Yeah? Right. Okay. Come on you, in. This is cool. Okay, Eddie, hey. what is this awesome place is? Uh, thanks. Well, I mean, let's have a look. I'd, I'd be more than happy to show you. You know, what's, what's interesting is that all of this happened over time. <laughs> I mean, a long time. Um, what, what was interesting, I remember when I was a teen, a friend and I wanted to go ahead and buy a bus and split it 50-50 and we were gonna enjoy it. But so we bought a bus, it was a 1967 13 window. And before you know it, we ended up selling it two days later. And I thought, wow, okay. So we sold it and he took his money, went and did something with it. I took my money and went and bought another bus. And so over the years, it just kind of started going into that and I started collecting all different types of models from, it just got crazy. So why not the beetle or a rabbit or something? So the, the funny part was that when I was young, I grew up in Guatemala in Central America. And uh, what, when I was in Guatemala, my aunt, she had a beetle, but my uncle, he had a panel bus. And uh, it was a 64 panel bus and I remember riding in it with him and I just remember the sound. And I just remember as a little boy holding on to the grab handle and just looking down and thinking, this is the coolest, this is so cool. And then um, a couple of years later, my other uncle, he had a, uh, a later bus, like a 77, I think it was a 78 actually. And we would get the family together and on Sundays we would go picnic. And I, I always loved it. Is it part of your family, the bus? Uh, whenever I actually would sell a bus, and the only reason I would really sell a bus would be to get something better. I would keep graduating, right? But whenever I would sell the bus, I actually felt an emptiness inside. And I always felt as if I had just lost a family member. And so for me, it wasn't so much about the money that I was selling it for, more so is it going to a good place? Is it going to a person that's gonna go ahead and hold on to it. Each one of them has its own personality, uh, just the way from the clutch, the way that it feels, or maybe the, the, the engine, the way that it drives, the sound. Uh, there, there's all sorts of little differences. And it's kind of funny sometimes because, let's say I'll be driving this one, uh, and then I jump into the blue one, and I forget that this one's so much heavier than the other one. And so it's, okay, uh, you know, you, and so you just quickly acclimate yourself to the differences between them. Are you talking to the cars? I do actually, you know, I actually do a lot of the times I actually thank the car when I get yeah. to my destination. It's a partnership, I feel, between you and the car yeah. where, you know, before you go, check the oil, you know, make sure everything's good, look at the tire pressure, just kind of take care of it and nurture it. And, uh, you know, you take care of it, it'll take care of you. Yeah, it's a partner in crime. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess the previous owner is really proud that you bought the ambulance, but what is so special about the ambulance? I've saw it here. I think, I think for me, it's just the originality of it and also the history of it and the fact that it was actually, you know, part of the Frankfurt Fire Department. And the neat thing about this is because it's so original that when you do look inside, I mean, it's, it's a time machine. That's amazing here. You have so many nice cars. Thank you. But um, 
Can we go for a ride? Of course, of course, that's what they're here for. And I would say that this right now would deem it definitely special enough to go ahead and take the red one out. So really, yeah. So we can good. put some miles on it. Uh, yeah, we'll put a couple miles on it. It's an honor. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an honor for you to be here. So let's do it. So it was a real joyride. Thank you awesome. for letting me drive in your vehicle. And <laughs> My pleasure. So, would you like to drive mine? Can I? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Are you kidding me? That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, this, this thing's a trip. Seriously, it's funny. When, when you're driving, your field of vision now the feel, the feel of this, it's it's interesting getting in it, just jump in and I just feel feel at home. Okay. You know? Yeah, you know, it's it's funny. Uh, I remember seeing the first the first pictures of it, I think there was there were press photos. And at first when I saw it, I don't know, being being a uh, being a hardcore bus guy, first thing I thought was like, yeah, that's cool, but give me my old bus any day. But now, actually, you know, driving this thing and actually seeing it in person, it's a totally different story. <laughs> now I almost feel guilty saying that, you know? It's um, because now I feel like, hey, I'm back in a bus that nobody else has. <laughs> I like your car. You like my car. Should we swap? Or, I know, you take it for six months of the year and then I'll take it the other six months of the year and we can just trade off. Sounds sound like a deal. You know, that's a good trade. Yeah. <laughs> so Eddie, you brought us to an amazing place. What happened here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought you'd probably get a kick out of this. So this is actually one of the coolest shows that happens right here in Southern California. And as you can see, it was just a short drive from the shop. This is a uh, Featherly Park, and I mean, this is just the beginning, and we're gonna get hundreds of cars here. Really? But what a great place to come and showcase this, huh? <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, so thank you, Eddie, for the oh, awesome welcome. day with you and your shop, driving around, letting me drive in your vehicle. Uh, yeah, and and let me drive this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm converted, man. <laughs> yeah, I love it. No, Eddie, thank you. It's just a small present, but for your next barbecue, uh -huh. the original Volkswagen Ketchup. Volkswagen ketchup. Yeah, it's branded. It's <laughs> That's from us. pretty wild. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'll, in fact, I'll now I'll make it a point to barbecue this weekend just so I could use it. That is cool. That's perfect. And in Hanover, we eat the original Volkswagen currywurst. Sounds okay, good. Deal. We got a deal. That's cool. <laughs> All right. San Francisco, ID Bus, wir haben es geschafft von LA, die ganze Strecke entlang der Küste, haben tolle Leute getroffen, Gänsehautmomente von den Geschichten, die uns erzählt wurden und freut euch drauf unter Hashtag Bully Love Stories könnt ihr noch weitere erleben. Mhm.